Hello viewers. In this lecture, we will learn how to design a MATLAB code for a rule called left product rectangle rule to approximate the Riemann level fractional integral. This lecture is a continuation of the first part of lecture number 10. So I would advise you that before you watch this lecture, you must go through first part of lecture number 10. In that lecture, I have explained the derivation for the left product rectangle rule to approximate the Riemann dual fractional integral. And that explanation is taken from this resource that I have just highlighted. So coming to the code, line number 18 is what we need as inputs. So here on line number 18, H stands for the step size or step length. X of 1 is the lower limit of the integral x last is the upper limit of the integral that I have taken 1 and then x shows the integration interval with the step size h. j shows the number of points, number of intervals. alpha is the fractional order I have arbitrarily chosen to be 0 0.795. The function whose Riemann level fractional integral is being approximated, is being evaluated through this rule is sine x. This function I have chosen whose Riemann level fractional integral is required numerically. So now the most important points are the highlighted points as you see on lines 29 through 31. Let me show you the rule called left product rectangle rule to approximate the RL fractional integral that I derived in my last lecture. So as you can see on the slide the green color formula and I would suggest you that you should tally this green color formula which is the rule we are discussing about with these three lines. For example, line number 30, h power alpha divided by gamma of alpha plus 1. This is a constant, so I have taken it, uh, I have just assigned it a name weight. Okay, so this is a coefficient you see in the formula. And then weight multiplied by the summation starts, and as you can see, index k goes from 0 to j minus 1. So in MATLAB, we do not have actually the index 0 to show the first element. Rather, we start with the 1. So k goes from 1 to j minus 1. So we have summation notation and then just daily this formula in the presentation with the line number 31. So summation j minus k power alpha same we have in the code minus j minus k minus alpha, j minus k minus alpha, j minus k minus and whole power alpha and then you have f of x k, we have f of x k. Alright, so this is what the lines required in the code to show the rule I had uh, just shown you in the presentation. So now I have also mentioned the exact solution on line number 38 and this is a part of my one of my previous lectures on the approximation of RL integral. I will provide the link of that lecture in the description box so you can watch that lecture as well. So this is the exact solution and then I have computed the absolute errors. And after that, I have collected the obtained results in a matrix form. 
So J will show you how many points were taken, what was his tape size, what is exact answer, what is approximate answer and the corresponding error. So let's run this code and do remember that in this code we have a step size 0.1. So I'm going to run the code and then I will go to the command window to see the result. So you can see 10 steps, 0.1 step size. This is the exact answer, approximate answer and the error is 1.2873 10 to the power minus 1. Let's go to the code back and then replace a step size from 0 0.1 to 0 0.01 and run the code again. And here, note down the error is reduced by one order of magnitude. From 10 to the power minus 1, we have jumped to 10 to the power minus 2. Let's reduce the step size further by one more order of magnitude and run the code. And 10 to the power minus 3 is expected. And yes, this is what we have. Okay, if I decrease one more time, then what happens? Run the code, go to the file, um, go to the command window. We have 10 to the power minus 4. So let's say one last time. And if I run the code again, I should see 10 to the power minus 5. And yes, this is what we have. So the rule is actually behaving the way we are decreasing a step size by, by one order of magnitude. The error is also being decreased by one order of magnitude. And this behavior shows that the method is first order accurate. That's it. This is all about the... MATLAB code for the left rectangle quadrant rule to approximate the Riemann level fractional integral. Finally, I would request you to like, share, and to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching the lecture.